look at this! It's like a bird! This is a coconut broom. You've seen it before, and you're probably thinking, Kulas, why are you showing us you sweeping again? Well, number one, it's just fun to sweep. Uh, but number two, the Philippines teaches you a lot about being resourceful and creative. And today I noticed there is a bit of wind and the branches and the trees are moving. So I'm gonna try and take this, be resourceful and creative, have some fun. But first, I'm gonna sweep. Finally, the time has come. After all these years in the Philippines, I'm gonna make my own Serangola. Now that's actually the Tagalog term for kite. Uh, here, where I live in Caguindoro, it's mainly Visaya, so we would say Tabanog, Visaya term for kite. Uh, what you would have just seen, guys, is a whole bunch of clips of random kites, big kites, small kites, uh, kids playing with kites, adults playing with kites. Kites are a big part of culture here in the Philippines, and I'm sure most Filipinos who are watching this right now uh, probably grew up making one or playing with one. And actually, I did the same in Canada, except I definitely didn't make my own using this stuff. Um, yeah, I was sweeping earlier. This is actually the coconut leaf midrib. Uh, I believe they call this tukug. It's a, uh, the name for the little kind of spires here. I can pull one out. And Eric, my friend of Viajero, he told me I can use these to build a kite. So I'm going to try that. Uh, I have some newspaper, got some tape. This here, this is a puso and a sagging. And uh, you might be wondering why I would have this. I'll explain it soon. But uh, yeah, got some glue in case. Probably going to have to use it. My gunting and some string. Let's make a tabanog, let's make a serangola. Should be interesting. Okay, priority number one, I need to use big piece. Hey guys, today in news in the Philippines. All's good, anyways. I'm gonna cut up some paper. I've got a square. I need to make this into a, actually, 
That's not too bad. Okay, I'm just gonna make the perfect diamond. I was never good at art in school, but I would never give up. It's not about how it looks, it's about the use of it, the purpose. That's not bad. Put this way. This is gonna be the super cool, unique step. I'm gonna take this, this broom, to Kug, and I'm gonna look for the really thick pieces of it. So, if you look here, you can see it's a whole bunch of Takug put together. And I'm gonna find some of the thicker pieces. There's one. I'm just gonna start plucking them out. What I'm going to do now is obviously this isn't quite thick enough to use as my kind of base for this kite. So what I'm going to do is probably take two, put them together, <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to snap off the not so thick part. I'll just cut it off. I'll just cut it. Now I think the best thing for me to do is actually I can just tie this together like so. And that can stretch the whole base of the kite. Okay, anyone? Yes? <laughs> I'm asking the person behind the camera to like give me pointers as I do this because I'm a bit worried I'm gonna screw it up. This is a no, like I haven't researched. I've just been asking and thinking off the top of my head how to do this, so. We do have a special guest today. He'll show us how it's done. Um, okay, I'm gonna tie this together, I think. So I'm tying two to cook together. That's the mid ribs of coconut tree. String and tape. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna show you now is something that's very traditional and a lot of Filipinos might relate to this, but I don't think I'm actually gonna do it. I'm just gonna show you how I would do it um, because it can take a while. This is called a puso na sagging. It's just hanging rice. It's uh, literally called a puso na sagging because it looks like a heart. Heart is puso. In the Visaya, it's kasing kasing. Um, actually, that's weird. Why do they call it puso na sagging? Even though it's a Visaya thing, like in Cebu. It's easy for them to... Rem oh, to explain. To say, rather than oh. kasing kasing. Sa oh yeah, I never thought about that. So yeah, I was just thinking, these are really famous in Cebu. Puso na sagging, hanging rice. But puso, heart, is actually Filipino, Tagalog. Whereas kasing kasing, is Visaya, but imagine saying casting, casting, the sagging. I never thought about that, man. That's but crazy. they also re uh, say it because of the art shape banana blossom. Ah, puso, yeah, because it's called puso. Ah, it's like though, because the puso and the sagging, the banana blossom also looks similar to mm -hmm. this. You know? I'm gonna use this as glue. I'm gonna open it up. Um, one second. Usually you cut this in half. You need to use a knife. I can just cut it now. Alright. There it is. 
So when you eat these, it's just rice right there. What's interesting about this is this is also coconut. So everything today, the tree of life is providing. Okay, I got the rice. Now this rice is probably old, meaning it's you know been here maybe a day. Um, I'm gonna take some of it. Just like this. Like this. And what people would do for glue in the Philippines is they would take their paper, take this rice, and literally just rub it. Oh my gosh, man, dude, this actually works. This is legit. I'm, I'm just rubbing rice, crushing it into the newspaper. Get all the little bits off. <laughs> Look at this. You can see, okay, my hands are sticking. This can actually be your glue. Imagine that. Filipinos use rice for glue. Makes sense why it's so hard to clean old you rice. Think, you put bulad, it's better. Bulad, what's <laughs> Samok. <laughs> this is so awesome. Before so, what? During summer? Yeah. Kite season? Yeah. Our mothers will get angry because the broomstick? Yeah. Oh, is it gone? Yeah, it will be gone, man. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Imagine how many, like, you and your cast relatives, cousins yeah. doing. We have a broomstick there. It's so funny. Yeah, all of you are making five kites, and your mom will use that during. Uh, this is hilarious. Four o'clock habit. Dude. <laughs> if you told me I'd wake up this morning and I'd literally be making a kite with rice as my glue I would have thought that is not 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 happening that's ridiculous not ridiculous in the sense that it works just I never thought rice would actually work as a glue well, we'll be careful Eric careful the paper uh, like that, it's okay? Uh, uh, we'll just uh, simplify this. <laughs> uh, I needed Eric's help. I'm building the cross section. You take a uh, couple pieces of takug and you bend it and then you tie it in the middle. <laughs> I'm wearing masks. Uh, yeah, well, I, I think it should be okay. Okay? You can see this part, see it bends? It's gonna bend like this. Just one more, one more. Just this side. Okay, so my kite's pretty much done. I'm just gonna add a few tails, which I'll show you at the end, and something in the middle, like a nylon string to pull it with. In the meantime, you're gonna see another version by our local friend, Kumar. What do you have to do, Brad? What are you making? Hello. He's going for the garbage bag version. Happy, oh, woo! What's the style? Sapi sapi, you know the 80s long back uh, hairstyle? Oh. Yeah, looks like that. Your kite? Yeah. Remember the mulay mulay? Oh. Mm. Okay, good luck, Brad. When you were younger, Kumar, would you do this like every year? Summer. Summertime? Windy season. March. March. April. I noticed your punko punko is perfect. <laughs> I cannot do what Kumar is doing right now. He's just in a relaxed state of building something. Punko punko. So, Brett, what are you up to? Watching four grown men make kites <laughs> on a Saturday afternoon. Brett came down, he's just watching us make kites. How does it make you feel, man? Like a kid. Yeah. Well, not really. I mean, you guys probably feel like kids. I'm just always a kid. Big kid. I'm a big kid always.
Hey, buddy. Sample. Sample. Oh my gosh, man. What do you call it, Brad? Sapai Sapai. Sapai Sapai? How come? Because sapi Sapai, this one. Oh, the long hair. The sapi Sapai. Not Sapai Sapai, ah. Sapai Sapai. Sapi. We might have a bit of an issue. Hey. We land. I think a uh, kite fly would have to wait. Hey. No, don't go out. <laughs> Until tomorrow. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Sapai Sapai? Sapai Sapai. Look at how happy you are, man. Summer is still here. <laughs> this is it's the longest just... summer of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> 2020. Ting in it, Adlao Adlao. Yeah, ting in it, bro.